I've watched a few videos now on how SteelSeries Sonar is better than VoiceMeter Banana. But if, like me, you are using VoiceMeter to send your audio to your external capture card as well as your headset, nothing beats VoiceMeter. What I'm about to show is my configuration to use Sonar for all its funky game audio features, then pass through to VoiceMeter to distribute to the output devices. In the Sonar app, I have configured the audio output devices to be the vir voice meter virtual inputs. This will ensure that the game audio and voice ratio dial on your headset still works. The microphone is still configured for the headset mic. In the voice meter app, you can see that my three hardware devices are my headphones, my headset earphones for the chat, and my capture card, the HD60, which is on my other PC. On the input side, we have the SteelSeries Sonar microphone um, device, and it is connecting to A3, which is my capture card, so that my voice is duplicated out to the, the capture device, and B1, which is the voice meter output um, component, which I will come back to when I discuss Discord in a second. On the virtual input side, we have uh, the Vio and the Vio, uh, and sorry, voice meter Vio and the voice meter auxiliary components. The uh, Vio, the main one, um, outputs to A1, which is the headphones, and A3, which is the capture card. And the auxiliary is A2, which is the chat, and A3, which again, capture card. Now, the reason that these are different is this is what allows you to use the rocker that controls uh, the ratio of gameplay audio versus chat audio. So if you, your gameplay is too loud and you can't hear your teammates, you can turn the dial and control that on the headset. If we look at Discord for an example, um, in my voice and video section, you can see the input device is voice meter output. That is the B1 component here that's being activated by that. And we have the auxiliary input, which, as I said, was the chat component um, here for um, conversation. It's worth noting at this point that you don't technically have to use voice meter for this audio as long as so b1 does not need to be enabled you can actually just choose the steel series sonar on here and end up with the same result but just to keep it uniformed i tend to just try and keep everything all the same know that uh, my voice meter stuff is all configured and, and ready to go and will act accordingly with this configuration, it does mean that we can use the Sonar app to control the game audio and how it's configured here will be how it's output through voice meter. So your capture card and your headphones will all hear the same thing. And again, your microphone configuration. So if you want to give yourself a nice deep voice in here or go with one of these other configurations, they're all available to you. You'll notice that Sonar complains about not being the default audio device. This is just because voice meter is, and we need it to be that way because we need voice meter to deliver the audio to our devices. So if you have any problems where everything's not quite working the way it should be, check your audio device is set to voice meter VIO in here um, and not to steel series Sonar. Because VoiceMeter is the default audio device, game audio will play just fine as it is. However, it won't take advantage of the sonar features. So to make sure that that is enabled, it's important to go into the device options of the game and in the sound, change the playback device from default to SteelSeries Sonar Gaming. 
and that should ensure that you get the maximum experience. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now and happy gaming.